Hi everyone, my name is Valeria, not Valeria. Uh, like Dutch people uh, used to pronounce my name, so Valeria. But for Dutch people, I've created just yesterday uh, a nickname, a Dutch nickname, Dutch inspired. So it's gonna be Sala van der Borsch, so they should understand and pronounce it better. Um, I'm a painter now, I've been living for a year in the Netherlands and I create uh, paintings like this, it's 65 to 90 centimeters, um, oil on canvas. Uh, it's uh, for me, it's a realistic style because um, I like cloth money. I go outside and I paint what I see because I notice that um, if you paint in a studio or just inside the flat and you paint from a photo or you make sketches from a photo, they look horrible, they don't look uh, mm, vivid and yeah, you can just uh, feel more from this uh, painting painted outside. So you can see the water canal and you'll never you'll never uh, recognize this orange on a pink brick uh, if you paint from the photo because the colors are just different and there are less less different colors and uh, hues on the photo if you paint it from the photo. So yeah, my art journey. I, I always like to to paint, to draw, and um, I know that when I was three years old, I already had about 300 drawings, and my mom collected all my drawings, and my father, I can't tell that he encouraged my drawings, or my parents told me that I have a talent, that I'm a gifted person, that I have a talent uh, for drawing and painting, but they thought, okay, but they never allowed me to experiment with something or my mom could say that, oh, that's boring, that's that's not good, that's the, yeah, sucks. Even now, it's just uh, maybe the second painting that my mom likes and just, oh yeah, that's not bad, not bad at all. And before all paintings I was making and I showed to my mother like a small painting of uh, uh, three bottles of Vermox and she said, hmm, maybe an alcoholic can buy this painting, you know, who else can buy it? And I was always uh, taught that uh, if you want to be an artist or whatever you want to be, who, whom you want to be, it doesn't matter. The, the, what matters is that if you can earn and bring money or not. So I I worked in the office and I also enjoyed that. But I I met so many different people and friends. They all inspired me and motivated me to stop doing secretary job and to to do artistic stuff. You know, and that's I can say only thank you very much for my. Uh, thanks very much my friends who inspired me and motivated to continue and do more and more paintings. I'm very happy, I'm very happy to have uh, followers, friends who really encourage what am I doing. So yes, as I'm far from my parents that cannot uh, stop me of drawing and maybe you cannot um, Believe me, but it really uh, makes me sad if I can't make uh, sketches. When I'm uh, somewhere on a holiday, I always do sketches and that's my sketchbook. Uh, maybe already 10 sketchbooks, so uh, yeah, if I go to England or if I go, uh, that's also England, so I, I do sketches and then I finish them with uh, watercolors. And, um, that's Utrecht. I do love sketching because that's that's a life that you and the city and you see it uh, with your eyes and then that's all on paper. That's a magic. You don't need to use any camera. And um, what I also explore that I need to experiment more. And I was telling one art gallery that I need to paint more and more and I don't have my particular style or oh, I can't remember what they actually said but they said that I'm on the early stage I've been uh, painting for a year as a professional artist and they said that I'm still on the early stage so I need to uh, work more and more to 
uh, to improve what I'm doing and to find maybe something else. And this guy, uh, of course, you know him, uh, that's Vincent. <laughs> he was living in the Netherlands and then in France. And uh, I can tell you, he didn't, uh, he hasn't finished any art school, like, you know, university, or he had some lessons, but uh, he prefers study um, for himself and by himself. And Vincent looks very brave in experimenting and trying different colors, not like um, you're used to use all the colors and uh, if you study in an art school, so they say that on the uh, on the front here, on the place closer to painter, you need to use um, uh, warm colors like um, brown something, uh, yellow or really warm, so it shows that it's in a light area on the front, and if it's in the shadow, some of the background, then you should use. Uh, Cool colors, cool hues like um, emerald green, blue, something like so it shows that it's in the background. And Vincent just uh, painted like he wanted, like he said, like he saw the the light. Yeah, so it was all against the others and maybe that's why he was so famous and popular. And here in the Netherlands, the art. Oh, I had some notes to what I was going to talk about. The art is weird like this, and if you don't do something weird like this, it's a, you're not popular, they're not going to exhibit you. They say that this, this is boring, and that's a towel from Surrealistic uh, Exhibition. That's a towel from growing uh, hair, hair growing uh, through the towel, and kind of like Jesus Christ or a person, I don't know, and that's weird. Yeah, um, you know that even Monet, the Claude Monet, he was not recognized by public when he was a painter. And he said, oh, that's boring, that's not made in a studio that was made outside, like how can you do this? And that's, yeah, sucks again. So that's a bit uh, complicated. Well, not complicated, but that's not easy to first explain what you are painting, why it's not uh, boobs, bombs and dicks like it was in other rooms on the same exhibition and the name was uh, like I've just said and you need to explain why it's, why it's so boring like just the street you know but I've noticed that uh, people really like these uh, Russians of course and some Dutch people they say that uh, what am I painting they really like the colors the that I don't put so many details and people were, yeah. And Dutch people are also very, very positive. I was telling the Russian in one of my videos that they're positive. And for me, well, I'm Russian now. The positive person is like, oh, how can we communicate? I don't smile and you smile all the time. And well, when I was painting some of the uh, pictures, they offered me tea, coffee, cookies. People that I absolutely do not know. Last time they offered me, um, one of the last times they offered first coffee, and as the person asked me if I want a cup of coffee, then they said, Well, it's lunch time, maybe you would like some soup. And then um, I was painting outside again this particular street, and uh, a man uh, came out from his house and he said, Well, we are moving to another place, the fairer, and maybe you would like to see what paintings, paintings we have because uh, they had the, not the same painting, but they had from the same view from uh, this point. It was the painting of the uh, Dom Toren. And I entered the house and they were packing on all the things, belongings. I said, Oh, yeah, that's uh, it was Marike. The woman and she said, Yeah, that's my phone number. Well, that it was Tuesday and said, Well, we'll move uh, by weekend, so you may come on weekend, uh, give us a call, stay uh, stay for night, and why not? Yeah, and then say, See you. Two minutes of talking, and they are inviting me to their new place to stay uh, overnight. That's 
that can't happen uh, in Russia, of course. Yeah, mm, they're positive, uh, very positive, and they're very open people. Sometimes it's good, sometimes I just cannot understand that, like that. So I studied art and I like to now to continue studying and exploring art, being towards their art life and uh, when I was studying in the institute, I studied the history of art just to pass uh, an exam. I never studied just because I was interested in it. I am now very interested in art. I do like to explore. Yeah, so I do like to explore you know, some art features that uh, normal people don't uh, uh, they don't know something about art, but they cannot say what is uh, impressionist, uh, who is uh, post impression, what's the difference, and yeah. I'm making and I'm writing some articles mostly in Russian. So, if you are really interested in uh, reading something about art, um, not you know like scientific article, but more understandable for people who like something nice and uh, who would like to know something more, uh, ask me some questions and let me know if you like the video more. Then an article, then I'll make it uh, in a video format. And I think that was it. And me and my buddy <laughs> Vincent are saying goodbye. Uh, thank you very much for following me, for pressing like and asking your questions. And yeah, thanks for the feedback. I really appreciate that. Uh, bye.